what's going on everybody um today i'm bringing you a quick video about uh bag organization um so this is gonna be a few tips here uh i just got back from playing around with my dad uh of course it's pretty muddy and um so you'll notice a few a lot of my discs are uh muddy so i'll, I'll probably end up cleaning those later but um organization i like to organize my bag based on stability um, a lot of people like to get their discs uh, the same colors, um, depending on stability or what disc they have. Um, a lot of people uh, get the same disc for different stabilities. Um, mine, I have different discs, and they're all um, pretty much different stabilities. So, um, just one way of organizing your bag is um, with like the different drivers, mid-ranges, how uh, stable they are. Obviously my most understable is a Cobra, a DX Cobra, very beaten in, it's now my roller disc. Um, and then I have a Shark 3, which is not too overstable. Um, I'm probably going to need to get an another overstable mid-range soon. Um, but understable uh, Leopard, just slight fade at the end, and then high speed uh, overstable Pulse. Discraft Pulse uh, is the most overstable disc. But, um, yeah, when you're organizing your bag, uh, I recommend putting it uh, in how um, hard they fade or turn. Um, uh, that's just my opinion. You can also, like I said, use the different colors um, to organize them based on weights or just the char characteristics of how they fly. I mean, you might want something that has a lot of S-turn in one spot, right there. And, um, I got a few of my Katanas. Big S-turn disc. Alright, getting off topic here. But, um, that's how you pretty much want to organize it. That's what I do. And that was your quick little disc golf tip today. Um, so I'll see you guys later.